Hi everyone, Elizabeth Scala here. Welcome back to the series related to elbow surgery and healing from the patient's point of view. I wanted to talk to you today about sticking with your routine. So, I had surgery in August and I've shared in many videos that the month of September was extremely difficult for me. However, towards the end of that month, as I traveled into October, things were looking upbeat. I had some new information that helped me have hope. <laughs> and I actually didn't cry every day of the month. So September, I cried all the time. But October, the tears were drying up and my affect was brighter. Um, I was just feeling more back to my old self. In the end of September, I found a very healing practice for me, which was yoga and Qigong. I practiced it daily. I still continue to practice several times a week. But I, found, I, got, I was reacquainted with yoga and Qigong um, and practicing daily. I also had several other routines that I did on a daily basis. For example, I went to bed early. Uh, I went to bed and was able to sleep for, this is gonna sound a, like a lot, but when your arm is regenerating itself and your body is like healing, you need a lot of rest. But I slept for 10 to 11 hours a night. Uh, I read, I did a morning meditation, I did an evening Reiki practice. So I had essentially this type of routine. And so for the month of October, I kept that routine up. It had monks going to my occupational therapy appointments, you know, eating dinner with my husband, taking my dog for walks, but I had this routine, this healthy routine of sleeping for 10 hours, waking up with a shower, doing a seated meditation, then flowing into some Qigong or yoga after breakfast, sitting outside with my dog for the afternoon, eating dinner with my husband, resting in the evening with another healthy practice. I mean, I had, like I said, I had this routine. In the end of October, something happened that was wonderful, absolutely amazing. I had a surprise visit from a dear loved one, my one and only sister. And while the visit was amazing and there is nothing that I would have changed and there was absolutely nothing wrong with the visit, it was absolutely perfect. And in fact, too short. She was only here for all of 36 hours. Um, in the time she was here, I didn't sleep for 10 hours. In fact, I stayed up with my sister and my husband till the wee hours of say midnight, one o'clock in the morning because we were talking and laughing and catching up and smiling and giggling and just being ourselves and being silly. So I didn't, I stayed up late. And then during the night, I didn't sleep as well because I was kind of that whole like too excited to sleep type thing and then getting up early. I didn't do any yoga or Qigong while they were, while she and her son were here. Uh, I didn't do my seated meditation practice because I'd get up in the morning and see what they were up to. And, you know, so basically <laughs> I let my whole healthy routine go. And she came in on a Sunday night, stayed all of a Monday and left on a Tuesday afternoon. Like I said, really fast, but only in those two nights and one and a half day, I got out of routine. And by Wednesday, and especially Thursday of that week, I noticed at occupational therapy, I was tired. My arm physically hurt more. My mental mind was a mess. I, I had all these questions and all this mental chatter and worry and concern and why isn't it getting better? Lots of things I talked about with my family. I was off my sleep routine. I was cranky. I was tired, completely drained. And by that Thursday at therapy, sure enough, the crocodile tears came again. I cried on Thursday and Friday. I, I've written this down in the book that I'm working on. So I point this out for you here. After surgery, you're gonna have therapy to go to. You're gonna have home exercises to do in order to physically get your arm moving. And then you're gonna have to get into some kind of healthy routine for whole body healing, some routine related to your rest and sleep. 
some routine related to your eating habits and, and, and water intake, some routine related to other healthy healing practices, maybe holistic practices perhaps. Now something may come in and jolt you off that routine and you're going to notice yourself go awry. So I just want to put a plug in this and, and, and point it out so that you're aware of it. Again, as I said at the start of this video, I would not have changed that visit with my sister a minute, a second, a nanosecond. I wouldn't have changed anything. It was beautiful and lovely. If anything, the only thing I would have changed was to stick better to my routine. Maybe I would have still stayed up late at night because I only had a short time to hang out with her, but the other things, the meditation, the water intake, the Reiki, the yoga, the healing practices that I was doing on a daily basis. So stick to your healthy routines. Even if someone drops into your life out of the blue, you haven't seen for years, months, days, ages, whatever, stick to those routines. Keep that focus on yourself. Stay healthy. Get well. You can do this. Your arm's getting better. All right. Enough of the pep talk. Leave comments or questions below. Visit me at elizabethscala.com. Thank you again for tuning in. Feel free to share this video with friends or family or check out other videos in the playlist. We'll see you again real soon.